Saka loses out, Johnson, that's good from West Ham. Kudos in the middle, Johnson will look for him, Kivior just about doing enough to fend him off, but that was promising from the home side. Great defending at the far post, they read it, I think Kudos was waiting for the ball to come to him and Kivior took the opportunity to go across, but it's good work from West Ham down that left-hand side. Saka wins it back again, on to Trossard. Good tackle coming in, but Arsenal there again with Havertz. Odegaard back to Saka. This is good, Martinelli clips one in, and Trossard will save! Brilliant save from Ariola. It's a wonderful Arsenal move. Oh, it's a great save. Martinelli comes in initially to get involved with the first move, and he finds himself on the right-hand side and in the Bukayo Saka position, and he does that little dink back. Havertz must get a shout here from Trossard because he just leaves it at the end. Great strike from Trossard. That is going right in the roof of the net, and Ariola gets a really strong hand to that. That's a fantastic save from the West Ham keeper. Saka again. Udegaard. Shot takes a deflection, and it's wide. And a little way wide, actually. Did look goal bound initially. Yeah, it did. He found himself just in a little bit of room, didn't he? He had a couple of yards to get the ball out of his feet. Rice's corner, and it's oh, headed yeah. in. And it's William Saliba from the corner, his second goal of the season, and that goal was coming. Well, what do I know, Tim? The last corner they did, four players set up at the back, all run to the front. This one, they all stay at the back. Maybe West Ham were waiting for him to go to the near post. Delivery goes to the back. It's a great header, it's a really good delivery, it's spot on. But that no one actually makes a run or move. You've got to say that's really bad defending. Saliba guides the header in for his second of the season. And you have to say it's a deserved lead for Arsenal. They've been on top the last 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, deservedly for Arsenal and the curse of the commentator, because... <laughs> Kivior. The sack is there. Couldn't direct the header on target. But Arsenal, every time they come forwards, West Ham are, are really struggling to deal with them. Saka. It's good football again there, so the guards. On to Saka! Oh, it's just wide! It was another sparkling Arsenal move. They are getting in behind West Ham with real ease here, and they should be two in front. Yeah, that started with Ben, right, ben White in this inside right position. <laughs> Such a deft little pass here from Erdegaard, and it's the correct attempt from Saka just doesn't execute it properly. Yes. You do feel though, David, you want a second goal because they've been so dominant. Saka's in again here, the flag stays down. Saka goes round the keeper, that's a penalty, it has to be. Does he stay on the pitch? That's the question. It's a yellow card. Well, he's obviously not his last man. He's not last man. Yep, yellow card, penalty. So he got his rewards, three chances in two minutes, and then he draws a penalty. Again, Arsenal, and it's Trossard, the architect this time. Again, Saka, I think he's just about timed it OK, because VAR will be checking it at the moment. But Arsenal just getting around West Ham with real ease here. Every time they come forwards, they're causing West Ham problem after problem. Ariola didn't complain, there was contact. And he scores. Ariola goes the wrong way, and Bukayo Saka makes it 2 0. No more than Arsenal deserve. The big dominant. Yeah, absolutely. Hard work pays off. He, he, you know, he's kept banging at the door for the last 10 minutes. Saka gets his reward with that very good run, but an excellent ball from Trossard. And a great penalty. No more than Arsenal deserve. The confident penalty. West Ham fans. Looking very resigned here. They are a side at the moment really struggling for form. Oh, 
Rice plays it in, oh. and yep. it is a third goal. And the Gunners celebrate with Gabriel. Another excellent delivery from Rice, and Gabriel steers the header in from close range, and Arsenal are totally in control. Well, well Arsenal's set piece, set piece coach is a genius because four players start offside. Wait for one West Ham player to go back, take a check step to their left to get back on side, and then Gabriel just piles in. Bearing in mind, fantastic delivery as well from Declan Rice, right on the money, dipping, curling into the danger area. Here we see Ben Johnson drops in, Ars plays him on side, all of a sudden Gabriel just runs in on that, knows he's on side, goal. Zuma again gives it away. Trossard, he's been everywhere. Havertz into Odegaard. Here's Trossard. Trossard, 4-0! A really confident finish from Leandro Trossard. And Arsenal are rampant here, they are dominating. No, it's just too easy for Trossard. West Ham in the first 20 minutes, nice and tight. Arsenal couldn't get a pass off around the box now three or four yards but really for me it starts with Havertz in that central area he plays a lovely little pass just around the corner here it is look at that lovely little pass into Erdegaard keeps the ball going then here I, I don't know Zuma looks injured to me he doesn't look as mobile as he normally is and he very stiff can't turn and that finish is delightful Ariola gets fingertips to it but it's nowhere near enough and Set it on number three, Arsenal, Arsenal deserved it, well, Arsenal deserved the four goals. David Moyes will be absolutely livid. Odegaard. Saka. It's opening up for him, oh, beautiful finish from Bukayo Saka. Quality, quality goal. Absolutely delightful pass from Odegaard. Just so much appreciation on it for the person that's receiving it. Saka's composure, fantastic. You've got to ask questions about the, the West Ham defending, you know. There's no energy there. I think it's, is it Emerson in here? He comes inside, look, once he's beat there, and Emerson's not even trying. It's lovely work goal. This pass from Erdegaard, delightful, just round the corner, just trickles in front of Saka, so it's great composure and sends Ariola the wrong way. Our Arsenal set for another little steamroll in, in the second half. Yeah, made it look very easy, ruthless finish from Bakayo Saka. Could it be six here? Saka helps it on to Martinelli. Ben White. Oh, what a guard in cross and left it for each other. Oh, what a finish from Declan Rice. 6 0 to Arsenal. A superb strike from Declan Rice, his fourth of the season. Yeah, humble celebration. Touches the Arsenal badge. But what another, another lovely move. I thought when the ball got cut back. Chossard and Odegaard had sort of got in each other's way, they was almost lining up for it. Almost went out of the shot, couldn't really see it, by people in front of us, but then Declan Rice pops in. Wow, what a finish. 6-0, amazing. Absolutely tremendous strike, it really was. Top draw finish this. Yeah, the cutback from Ben White. Look, Odegaard and Chossard both go for it. That's whipped across the... That's a top, top quality finish. Cresswell. There goes the final whistle. West Ham fans very disappointed. They were just beaten by a ruthless Arsenal on the day who were simply way too good. 4 0 up at half time, goals from Saliba, a penalty from Saka, Gabriel, and Trossard. And there was two more in the second half. Saka again scoring his second goal, and Declan Rice scoring the goal of the game. A wonderful finish from distance against his former club. Arsenal sending out another statement to those around them. The result here at the London Stadium, West Ham nil, Arsenal six.